It's called a 980 uh, sex offender. There's a classification for uh, this person, and uh, apparently it's, 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 it's as bad as it can be for this kind of filing. Um, we were notified last week, and Martin Schultes and I got together and decided to get our attorneys involved. The uh, county attorney is filing what they call an intervention with the uh, courts up in Outagamie County. If he is granted that intervention, uh, the town of Trenton will send a letter supporting that intervention. And currently I'm working with uh, our lawyer and the uh, homeowners association in that community to uh, create awareness and uh, survey the neighborhood to determine how many children in the neighborhood and what places are showing up this kind of place for this type of uh, placement. I'm not sure how uh, Gamey uh, located us. I'm, in the letter they stated they had three prospective uh, locations. Ours on uh, Davis and uh, Eastland, Eastwood Trail is one of them. I believe uh, it was, we, I believe that the system found that in volunteer their location because the highest amount of revenue goes to this type of individual for, for uh, housing. Yeah, I, I think people should be fearful. Uh, this is not a good fit. It's, this is not uh, somebody with a uh, disability. It's not somebody with a mental or an emotional illness. This is, uh, it's, I would say this is extreme to those cases. Uh, when shall we hear next? Um, that's good. I think the, I think the letter without a gaming county is being filed this week. And once that letter is filed and I understand it's in place, Trenton will follow with a supportive letter as well.